If you ever wanted to reach all of your customers in one place, your live chat app, then boy oh boy, do we have a treat for you today. Outbound messages are a built-in system designed for sales and marketing teams. They can also help you transform your live chat experience by enhancing customer management. With outbound messages, you can send marketing or informational material directly to your customers' favorite channels, such as WhatsApp. But that's not all. Together with the ability to send outbound messages, we are giving you the customers page where you'll have a list of all your customers from all of your channels in one place, stored safely with agents' notes and previous conversations. I like to call this the library of success. Right, there's a lot to show you, and I hope you're as excited as I am. Let's start by taking a deep dive into this tutorial. So in the live chat app, you want to make sure you find yourself in the engage section. Then we want to click on outbound messages. And the outbound tab will open up the customers page where you will see a list of all of your website visitors that had a chat with you in the past. Now, if your customer list is empty, go ahead and start your first chat. So you will see their basic details uh, such as name, email, country, city, which channel they came from, when they were last seen, and the number of chats that you had with them. Now, you can edit their basic information by simply clicking on them. And here you can see a pencil icon where you can edit their name or their email if necessary. And of course, all of the changes you make here will automatically appear in the archive section. Right, now let's go ahead and take a look at filters. So here at the top before the customers list, we have filters. Just like in the traffic section, you can add various filters and then save them as a segment. And all of your saved segments will appear at the top here. There's one more thing about the customer details section here in the customers list. So let's go ahead and click on a customer again. And here we can see the number of conversations you had with them. Now, if we go ahead and open this up, you can simply click on the conversation and it will take you right there. And then we have notes, which is actually a really cool thing. So let's go ahead and open this up. So notes are a great way to remember something interesting, like some fact about a customer to later personalize the conversation with them even more or to write down issues they've had with your product or service. Now, everyone on your team will be able to see each other's notes. Right, I think it's time for us to move on to creating an outbound message. So once again, in your live chat app, you wanna find yourself in the engage section and in outbound messages. And of course, you wanna make sure that you are on the customers page because here you'll find create outbound. Let's go ahead and click on it. Now, we currently only have the WhatsApp business channel uh, for outbound messages available, but Facebook Messenger will be coming soon. So let's go ahead and click on WhatsApp business. So at the top here, we have outbound name. So we want to come up with any name that is simply comfortable for us because this will not be visible to the customers. So I'm going to go with something like October promo one. Right, then we have the phone number field. Now this will be visible to you if you do have several numbers connected to your WhatsApp business account. You know, some of you like to have separate marketing numbers and separate support numbers. So I'm gonna choose one of my numbers. Right, then we have template messages. So the template messages we have listed here are the ones I've created on Meta. They are stored under their side, so on their side, under Meta Business. If you don't have template messages set up in Meta for WhatsApp just yet, I'm gonna leave a link in the description to how you can do exactly that. So for example, here we have an image template. And here I can input the image URL. Right, how pretty does that look? Changes everything, doesn't it? Now you can also have a video message template for those of you who didn't know. So I'm gonna show you how it looks. And once again, you simply paste the video URL here. Now I'm gonna go back to the image one and repaste my link. So next we have customer segments. Now I do remember we talked about filters and segments earlier. So basically you can have several filters and then save everything as a segment. 
So here we can choose multiple segments to which we will be sending our outbound message to. So I'm gonna choose US customers on WhatsApp and WAB. And lastly, we have additional phone numbers. So let's say a customer came to your physical store and signed up for your club membership and of course accepted your marketing clause. Um, so you have their number, but they aren't on your customers list in your live chat app because they didn't reach out to you online, obviously. You can actually still send them an outbound message by adding their phone number to the additional phone numbers field. So input their number here, and if they reply to your outbound message sent from live chat through WhatsApp, then they'll appear on your customers list. Yay! Um, you can also have them stored in your live chat app that way. Now, if you do wanna save your outbound message as a draft, simply click the cancel button and the outbound message will automatically save to your outbound list. If you're ready to send your outbound, then simply click send outbound and yes, send. And this is the perfect moment for us to move on to the outbound list, where we'll see how each and every one of our outbound messages are performing. So after you've created and sent your outbound message, you'll find yourself on the outbound list page, where you'll see all of the outbound messages you've ever created, drafted, or sent. Now you can actually hover over um, an outbound message to simply see a preview. So here we'll see the name of the outbound message, the template name, um, the status, the recipients, so how many people you sent the outbound message to, the open rate, and when it was sent, and reports. Now, if you want to remove an outbound message from the list, simply go to the three dots icon and click on delete. Right, now let's go ahead and click on a report from a certain outbound message. So we have our outbound details, a preview of our template message, and some very important statistics down below. So we have failed to send, so how many messages were not sent due to an error, like if the phone number doesn't exist anymore. We have undelivered, so how many messages were sent successfully but not yet delivered, so like somebody's phone is off or in airplane mode. Um, delivered, so how many people received your message, and opened, so obviously how many people opened your message. Now, you can also download the individual report of an outbound message as a CSV to later import it into an analytics tool. Right, that was a lot of knowledge on outbound messages, but I'm more than confident that you're ready to set out on your new adventure with the outbound tab. If you have any questions about the WhatsApp business integration, outbound messages, or anything about live chat, feel free to go to livechat.com and start a chat with us. Thank you for watching and see you soon.